the, the idea was brought to me at first by um, Elton uh, John, who is someone that I that I adore and who's been a great friend. And I, I, I love him deeply. And so he asked if I would be interested, and, and uh, I said, sure, man, you know, send this script. And, and so he, he, he did, and I, I read it. And I didn't expect the script to, you know, like make me laugh out loud, you know. As um, uh, John, uh, uh, the director, and I started working together recording, uh, the character, uh, it's, it, it was, it was a, a kind of a, um, how can we up the stakes here? How can we, you know, um, free things up? How can we make this joke funnier? And, and, and that relationship, I will always uh, be so thankful of Elton for asking me to do it and uh, introducing me to him to the director, to John, um, because he's, uh, he's very, 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 very creative and funny, brilliant man. Um, so we had a lot of fun doing it as well. You know, I mean, there was a lot of cackling because, you know, once, once I got what everybody felt was, uh, you know, all, all, all right, you know, everybody all around the boards have to agree. And, um, then he would let me do a couple of free ones where I could ad lib things, you know, and maybe add things, add jokes, you know, or change something around. And, and um, he was very open to all that. Sherlock Holmes has been played by so many uh, different actors, so there have been ver so many variations of the character of Sherlock Holmes. I, I just want, I, what I wanted to do was, uh, um, I wanted him to feel as if he were, I wanted him to sound as if he were, as if he were pointed very sharp, you know, that he was, that he was sharp angled, um, like, a, yeah, and that he, his, 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 his brilliance kind of came out of a clumsiness in a way. Uh, but ultimately, the main approach to Sherlock Holmes is, you know, you go, who's your favorite, favorite Sherlock Holmes? And mine, with no disrespect to anyone who's, who's played the role, <clears throat> um, mine, you know, t takes me back to my childhood every time I watch Basil Rathbone. So um, he's not only my favorite Sherlock Holmes, he's my favorite, uh, he's one of my favorite actors. So, yeah, I, my approach is more in the Basil Rathbun sort of arena. Moriarty uh, does yet again, and, and rightfully so, rear his ugly head and uh, um, essentially becomes quite the obstacle, the challenge, as always, for, for Sherlock. But this time he has, he has, uh, he's, he's, he's gone about things in, in a very, very different way. Um, and, and the character itself is, is very interesting. It's not totally what one would expect. It's really com comes out of, uh, yeah, a very interesting place. I think Elton, in, you know, anything that Elton puts himself into is always is is always uh, one thousand percent. He 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 doesn't loan himself or rent himself. He gives of himself. Um, and you know, as as he and Bernie Taupin always have given of themselves, of of their deepest feelings, their you know deepest emotions, deepest secrets that they've that they've you know spit out f to the for the world to to uh, to to hear a billion classic, brilliant songs. Elton John just his involvement in anything brings it brings another dimension, a whole other dimension to the 
uh, project, you know, because he gives wholeheartedly. Um, so I was, I was really, I was really uh, uh, honored when he asked me to 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 be involved, and um, certainly knew that it was going to be something. Uh, yeah, it would it would be something good. I got addicted to sort of watching these animated films, you know, when my kids were little, you know, I, there was, there was something about them that, that, well, cartoons break all the laws, don't they? And that's, you know, that's the beauty of seeing those parameters broken and, and trying to figure out a way to break the parameters in cinema in that same way so that a character can be potentially accepted in the same way that Wile E. Coyote is when he gets crushed by a boulder and then they cut to him with a band, little bandage on his head. I wanted Sherlock's voice to be like a razor blade, you know, that could cut through uh, 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 anything annoying that could cut through, that he found annoying. Um, anything, you know, uh, that someone's in the middle of some soliloquy and he would stop them, you know, on a dime because he has something to say. And it's like this, I sort of pictured this sound of, you know, this, a razor blade voice. You know? And so that's, that's kind of where I ended up. You know? Well, first of all, I mean, the cast, I think the casting was, was, was superb. I mean, every, everyone brought, uh, um, um, uh, you know, certainly the characters from prior, the prior film, but the new cast, uh, everybody really brought something to the party that kind of bounced nicely off of one another, even when we didn't record them together. I think the brilliance of, of, of John's casting and uh, um, the, the putting of all these, you know, you know taking all these wonderful uh, uh, voices, voices and, and uh, putting, them, putting them all together in, in, to, to build this story in whatever way he pieced them together, I think it, I think it was a brilliant cast. You know, amazing cast. What audiences have to look forward to with this movie is, I mean, gnomes. <laughs> Expect gnomes and look forward to them. They're very good. Matter of fact, I'd go as far as saying they're the finest gnomes I've ever gnomed. No. They're the finest gnomes I've ever known. Gnome. They're the finest gnomes I have ever met or known. <laughs>